Welcome to Command Lynn. Got a great one for you today. Welcome to the complete Devil Went Down to Georgia Mandolin tutorial. Uh, this was a great suggestion from Wayne over on the Patreon page. Hey Wayne, hope this works great for you. Uh, but man, he brought it up. I couldn't believe I hadn't done this before, right? I mean, this is the the ultimate modern American fiddle tune, right? And uh, so naturally, we're gonna have to learn the thing. And um, of course, the main parts people may just want to learn, like the opening, the opening melody, which is you know so iconic, or that main riff of Johnny's solo. Uh, but I consider doing part of those. But that's not the command in the way, right? We're doing the whole song here. But it's very long because, of course, there's lots to go over. So I'll put up timestamps here. And if there's just a part you're looking for, just jump over to that. Or else we're just going to plow into the whole thing, right? There will be tabs on the screen, but if you'd like to print them out and have them, you know, out for reference or whatnot, head on over to the Patreon page where they'll be available on a PDF here. Uh, I'm trying to be fast here because it's such a long lesson. There's be all the usual links, you know, do all the usual stuff. Uh, but of course, let me know where you're watching from the world so I can put you on my map here. And we've got a lot of ground to cover. Let's jump right in. All right, let's dive in here and uh, check out this intro, which is, of course, probably the most recognizable part of the whole tune. And we're going to just go phrase by phrase, as always. So here we go. First phrase. doing on the A string, five, four, five, open E, and then uh, F note, first fret of the E. And your final stroke there should be a down stroke. Next phrase also starts on a down stroke. Anywhere we see this quarter note in the music, it's going to be where we do a down stroke, and then the next phrase starts on the down stroke. So, on the one, and then one, three, five, that's another one where it's a quarter note. Once we get up to that five, you know, pause, or no, pause, but it's a quarter note, so down stroke, and then the next phrase starting on the down stroke, five, and then alternate picking, six, five, three, one, zero. Alternate pick all the way down. So, put them all together here. Next phrase. It's three, open, three, five, open, one. I find alternate picking works all the way through this one. Then three, five, three, one, zero. Put those two together, nice and slow. And one more time, a little faster. All right, from here we have this little descending phrase, which will come into use uh, also at the end of the song. I'll play it, we'll break it down. do it starts open E to the third fret of the A and then we're gonna start this descending series of three note groups so here's the first one five seven five on the A string and then open A and we're gonna walk down just move your fingers down do the same pattern three five three A touch that tuning up here. All right, I think we got the A string tuning fixed here. Where were we? So, come down, open E to the third. We're doing these uh, walk downs. Five, seven, five, open. Three, five, three, open. Now we're gonna go one, three, one, but now our bottom note moves down to five. And now our O, one, 
Oh, and the A in our bottom note moves down to three here. Then five, open, five here. And our bottom note moves down to the open D. And then lastly, we're gonna three, five, three, two, and open. Time. All right, so let's review everything here before we move on. Let's put it all that together, and here's our big first uh, intro kind of as a whole here. Two, three, four. Time, two, three, four. All right, sweet. So what the song does here, it, throughout the song, kind of a theme is this walk up where it goes A, C, D, and it kind of hints like it's gonna do that, right? It goes A, C, and you think it's gonna go D. And in fact, it does. The band goes to D. But what the mando, well, the fiddle in the song, does is goes back down to the A and does this big walk up. Kind of a thing. So what it does goes five, or sorry, two to the five, but then goes back to the two and does this walk up. So we go two, four, five open on the D string, two, three, five, open on the A string, one, three, five, open on the uh, E string, one, three, five, slide up here, seven, and then the, this note's not as important, but it's pretty much an E, kind of slides up to about an E, so slide up to about the 12th fret, and kind of trim all that thing way down. <laughs> and uh, I like to end with that nice D harmonic. And the, the song, it's like a nice chimey sound. You know, they might even be doing a harmonic in a guitar or something, but let's look at that walk up one more time. And you just kind of hang that, try to be as dramatic as you can. You can't quite pull it off like a fiddle can, but, but we can come pretty close. All right, so one more time. Here's the whole intro before we move on. We're in two, three, four. All right, so it's going to go into the verses here, right? And it's a lot of kind of talk singing with rhythm underneath. And in the real song, it's a it's a drum kit, right? Doing that country two beat. But we can approximate that pretty good just by doing rhythmical sounds on the eighth stringer here. And, um, you know, try to think of the song you're having when the devil went down to Georgia. So he starts to kind of do this boom chicka, boom chicka, boom chicka thing where it's, you kind of, well, first off, mute all the strings up here. Just kind of hit the bottom string, the bottom two strings, whatever. And then the next one, you try to hit all the strings. So you get kind of, it's kind of a drum kit, bass, snare, bass, snare, or snare, bass, snare. So you kind of get yourself a little rhythmical accompaniment, you know, when the words come in, double went down to Georgia, right? Looking for a soul to steal. In the by the way behind, we want to make a deal. Now what I like to do when it comes across, oh, in between, I like to do little rhythmical hits, right? You can just do a quick down and up and let go of the strings. You're not you're not fretting any notes, but it can certainly do an accent. It's like a punch between the lines, right? Uh, in a bind, way behind, is willing to make a deal. I came across this young man saw an unfiddle and playing it hot. I like to 
hit a little D minor there. When he saws on the fiddle and plays it hot, come up here and hit that nice little slidey, you know, when we got seven, seven, eight, and 10. Slidey little D minor. Come in, saw it on the fiddle and playing it hot. Devil jumped upon hickory stump, said, boy, let me tell you what. Now when he does these things, that's where we're gonna do our A to C. We'll hear second fret to the fifth fret. And you can just go to an open D there. I like to go to a D harmonic. Uh, I don't know, just to be different. <laughs> but the real song, it's just going to be two, five. You do a little walk us. Boy, let me tell you what. Bum, bum, bum. I like to let it hang for just a second, just when I do a solo, and then kick back in. You know, I guess you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. You do all this whole thing. Again. Take it there, I take a bet with you. So when it comes in to this last thing here, give the devil his due. Fiddle of gold, against or some whatever. Oh yeah, I know, he says, uh, it might be a sin. Take that bet you're gonna regret. I'm the best that's ever been. So it goes into this bridge. unmandolin thing I could do is play these as open chords, but I really like the way it sounds. Uh, so when it does, you know, the John Lee rising up your ball, play your fiddle hard, that whole thing. D minor, and I like to just that same boom chicka kind of rhythm where I hit the bass chord, D minor, C, G minor, back to the D minor, D minor again, fiddle made of gold is G minor, Two, two, and four here. A major. So uh, we're in. If you get your now when he says soul, soul. This is the melody you're walking down. Is just O, oh, five, three, and two. But I can throw some harmonies on there. That open can be O oh, and two here. O oh, A string and two in the D string. Coming down five, seven, uh, on the bottom two. Move that down, uh, three and five, and then ending on the E note, second fret. That A string can just ring throughout too, that doesn't matter. intro right etc etc all right so we've just come off that bridge right? and it comes back into another verse uh you know devil opened up this case said i'll start this show that business fire food routine says he rosined up his bow here's something i like to do pulled a bow across the string and it made an evil hiss I like to rake the strings up here for the evil hiss, right? <laughs> Gotta do something. That's not very evil sounding. So, rake the strings up there. Pull this bow across the string. Made an evil hiss. And a band of demons joy in sound. Something like this. All right, let's talk about the devil's solo here. Starts out with these cool, funky chords. And I'm just going to write them out in the simplest form up top of course and then you just funkify them yourself but it's a d minor chord here two three and uh five on a went up to a g major with almost that same formation five seven eight that g major right there move that down half step make it minor so it's f sharp minor four five and seven and back to the D minor started on. So here's the chords. Just take those, make them funky. Now 
perfect world, if I had a looper or something, that would keep going, right? While this bass line kicked in. Because in the song, this really cool, heavy, rolling piano and bass line pops in right about there. It goes like this. And what we're doing, starting on the D string, just walking up here. Uh, open, third, five, six, open A, five on the A. Back to the open, back to the six. Last part is five, three, five, six, open, and three, five, and three there in the bottom. Put it all, put it all together here. Does that twice. And then starts this chromatic build that he does. We're gonna start tremoloing things and coming down here, second fret on the D string and then the bottom two open. You're probably not gonna hit a lot of that E string. I don't worry about too much. It's mostly these middle two notes, but try to pick it up. So it's second with the two opens, and we're just gonna go up chromatically. So it's gonna go to the third, and you're gonna bar the first fret back behind it. And just take that, and move it up to the fourth fret. Move it up to the fifth fret. Now drop back down to the second, and we're just gonna bar the middle two strings. So second here, second here. And again, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now it keeps, up, walk, keeps on walking, but we're gonna play each chord now half as long. Gonna go up here to a G shape, just two and three, and we're gonna start working chromatically up. We're gonna pretty much walk that almost pretty much all the way up to the ninth fret there in the top. And then what it does, of course, here in the video, or not the video, but the song, there's a couple of violins playing and there's delay and all this, so we're just gonna approximate here, but he, he comes up. Slide up to the 13th fret for just a second, down to the 10th, and mostly we're ending on the, um, the 12th fret there. Most of these big slides and stuff come up to the 12th fret. Now it jumps down and starts a series of hammer ons and pull offs. Um, first, we're going to hammer on from the 3rd to the 5th, and we're going to start doing some pull offs here. Hmm. It's going to pull off twice from the third fret. And we're going to hammer or hammer and pull off from the eighth fret to the open, seventh fret to the open, sixth fret to the open, fifth fret to the open, third again to the open, and back to the seventh to the open. And from there, it starts a series of descending triplets. And they're just groups of three. Think of these three groups. Eight, seven, and five. Here's one group. And you're just gonna pull it off from the eight, seven, and five here. And then another group is gonna be, two, all the other groups are two, three, and open here on this string, and two, three, and open on this string. And what he does, he just starts kind of jumping around between these two, um, between these three positions here. And I don't have my music open off to the side, but if I remember right, it's, yeah, I know it's once here, twice here, once in the D string, I think once back here, once back up twice, and that's it. Hmm. What would that be? So I think it's that. So that whole little thing with the hammer-ons, land here on the fifth fret of the D string to start our next walk up. There's a lot of walking ups in this song. So we're gonna walk up five, open, one, three, five, open, one, two, because there's a nice tension note there. And then we'll hit the four, four times on the, the G note, third fret. Four times on the A note, fifth fret. Once on the sixth. 
kind of a stutter stutter stop there on the eighth fret and back up to our 12th fret where we do, do our big slides down now even on the music uh it has mentions a couple notes here sliding down to maybe the seventh and the eighth seventh here and 12 of course i think on the music i've got it written out up here if you do it from up here, you get yourself a nice long runway to slide down. And again, ending on a harmonic there. All right, let's look at one more time through that whole thing and uh, we'll move on. Skip those in between notes and I'll just slide right from here up to here. There's no wrong answers. We're just trying to make it sound as much like the song as we can. But uh, let's move on to the chorus. All right, so we come out of the devil solo there, and there's this real quick short verse. Uh, you know, Johnny said, You're a pretty good old son. Sit back in that chair right there. We'll show you how it's done. Then it goes into this first, first uh, chorus, right? It's all just D major to C major, back and forth. So let's play an open D. Because I'm weird, I use this fingering a lot. And I slide up to the third fret for two notes. Right back, you know. And then there's a cool little fills in between each line. Here's the first one. Oh, two, three, two, oh, just walk back down. Five, two, open A, then five, open, five, open, and two. So that's the first one. Now down here, C major. Again, I do it with these two fingers to keep this one free to come pick up that F note. Next little phrase here. It's five. It's going to be five. Open. First. Third. Open. Third. Open. And walking down. Five, three. Open. Five, three. So putting those together. Back to the D. Same, same fingers down here, but different fill. We're gonna walk it. Walk up first. Two, three. Five on the E string and then just walking down the scale. Three, two, open, five, three, two, open, five, four. We're gonna stop right here in the four. Oh, what was it? Chicken bread pan, chicken out dough. And then back to the C. Granny does your bar that. <laughs> Granny does your dog bite, no child, no. Same thing, just C, putting that melody note there. And back, and then this little cool riff, which might be my favorite of the whole song. Where it's just, you're just on a C chord, just going back and forth between your notes. Once, twice. 
Mm -hmm. So we try to do one note of the C note and then two notes on the second fret here of the D. Just repeat that. I like to kind of lift my fingers up just a little bit when they're not doing the notes. So they don't ring together. So it's not... So it's not that. Try to separate the notes. And then, of course, it's going to launch into the solo. But let's look at all that one more time here. And we'll move on. So first verse, it's... Um, down to the sea. Down to the house with the rising sun. Back to the D. Chicken, bread, bread, picking the dough. Be ready as you die by no child alone. And it's time for Johnny Solo. All right, that leads us to Johnny Solo here, which is you have been building toward this the whole song. He's got the double sitting in the stump. He's telling him what's what, and he uh, melts his face, right? So we're coming off that last chorus with the last uh, lick. We've, you know, hitting that open E string, which leads real nicely. To our big, uh, our main riff here. And it's just a, a D minor and a C major back and forth. And there's a little melody for each chord. So here's the D minor phrase. Just first, open, first, third here on the, uh, the high E. First, open again, fifth for the A, and back up. Do that twice. Now when it goes to the C major underneath, little melody three open three five open to one and then that little phrase three open three five three open five open so you combine those two halves So that's the C major part. So you combine those two, the D minor, C major, D minor, C major. And they play it fast, but you try to work up to speed or as much speed as, as uh, you can get to it. So it stops here on the uh, the third fret of the of the high E string, right? Stopping right there. Everything switches to major, D major now. kind of do this little thing we're just kind of walk around the d major scale so we're on the third fret where we've just stopped we're going to go three to open five three five and then open two five two open you're going to walk up and down uh fourth fret here on the a string open a walking up two to four again to, oh, you just do a lot of walking up and down, so, right? So we've walked up. We've walked down. Down here, fourth fret of the D, open D, and we're gonna slide from the two to the four on the D string. And then walk up, A, four, two, open, to the four, and then again, just let go, slide up, two to the four. Kind of gets this little thing and it just kind of starts to loop. 
I think it does it three times. Whoops. So let's put, come off the uh, the C lick here. Right there. Attach that here. Let's do the solo lick. Right there, holding the third fret and then do it the, the major stuff. There's, there's that little, that little walk they like to do from the two to the five to the open. You can hit as a harmonic if you want. You could even take it up to third fret. But I usually don't. I usually just let it sit on that D and hit that harmonic. Like to end it right there. All right, we're getting there now. Sorry, it's again, such a long lesson, but there's just so much to cover in this tune, right? So it is what it is. So Johnny gets done, uh, you know, and there's that last little verse about, uh, you know, lay that golden fiddle on the ground at Johnny's feet. You know, he tells him, come on back if you ever want to try again. It leads into this last, um, Last chorus. Now it's the same chords with the D and the C. We're just going to put different fills in between them here. So. Starts out this little fill. Two, three, five, two, open, five, two, open, then five, open, five, open E, then on the two there. Whoops. One more time. Whoops. One more time. Two more times. There's in the house with the rising sun. So again, it goes down to C. Little finger in the F note and off for the melody. And there's this cool slidey. Uh, man, it sounds great on the fiddle, and we can approximate it pretty well here. Just some series of hammer-ons and pull-outs here. Third to the second, and back to the third on the D string. Now move it up, five to the fourth, and back to the five. Three, two, and back to the three. The last one doesn't really work as a hammer-on, so I go open, six, open and then G ends on the G your uh, ring finger here on the fifth fret of the A string and we're going to pull off second fret to the open on the high E and come down to that fifth fret and now pull off first to the open and again to the five this finger doesn't move just kind of get that little, that little thing going there note or this lick I should say three 
five, open, three, five. We're just building up. And walk down. To the five again, and then three. Kind of touch the five real fast and coming back to three. And then, of course, we'll end on that high note. We'll go back to the solo, but let's review all that real fast. Second chorus. Open E, and then we're right back into the solo. like before. Now on the third time, we're going to walk up. Through, or, you walk up. Three, five, open, three. Walking down, five, three, one, open. Do that twice, and now it's the same as the very beginning of the song. We did this big descending lick. And it's the same, just to quickly review. Oh, to three here, and then a series of triplet pull-offs. Five, seven, five, to the open. Three, five, three, to the open. One, three, one, to the five. Oh, one, oh, to the three, five, open, five, to the open D, and then three, five, three, two, open. Hit that D minor chord twice. Uh, two, three, and five. We are home free. All right, thanks for tuning in to Commando Lynn here for our uh, detailed look at Devil Went Down to Georgia. This is not just one to have in the musical uh, jukebox here. I mean, this is a showpiece, right? This is the one you save for the, the last song and bring down the house with or something. But I hope it's super fun. It'll probably take you a bit to work through it, but well worth the, uh, the time and effort. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back real soon and uh, see you next time.